Welcome to Watch Symposium. I'm Austin. All right, so day after tomorrow, I'm going to pick up my GMT Master 2 16710 P serial. It's being overhauled at an RSC in Tokyo, and I got a call about the 20th that it's ready. And so I thought I would make a video about entrusting your watch to an RSC, and at least in Japan, what do you get? Well, you go in and you give them the watch and they look at it for about 10 minutes and you walk out with this envelope and in the envelope is an estimate, one that you very likely agreed to, uh, you know, give, give the thumbs up for you, you agreed to it. And uh, here it is, here's the estimate. I've got the personal information blocked out which is kind of annoying so apologies there my address is up here my name and right here this is the transaction number this is sort of this case number I guess and then you can see the serial number of the watch and the model number of the watch over here the information about uh, that particular RSC this is the date that I took it in and entrusted it to him and this is the expected uh, date of of completion and I think by this date you can expect some sort of contact from them. They called me I want to say on the 20th and I missed the call they called again on the 22nd and and then um, I got this letter or the letter that was in this envelope on as you can see the postmark on the 22nd so all right, let's look at what we have here. So this is overhaul ryokin, which means cost of the overhaul. And uh, that's uh, 45,000 yen. Uh, Ryu's kokan, that's uh, the replacement of the crown. And so I think that's the English crown oyster SS monoblock, and you can see the price there, 9,000 yen. And they were um, pretty... Uh, uh, forward and in, in telling me that they wouldn't be able to uh, return any parts so uh, they uh, yeah which is something I expected so yeah you you won't be getting your your used crown back uh, the tube okay uh, replacing the tube so the steel tube cost 3,500 yen and then my particular watch I had take, taken the bezel off and so you can see the cost of a replacement bezel and it's not just the insert but it's the whole contraption and cost 29,000 yen and also the cost for the spring so that little tiny spring is $500 and um, if you guys remember from that video is this the smallest little piece of metal just this little wire and I'm actually kind of surprised it's not an even thousand, but uh, 500 for a little tiny piece of wire is pretty expensive. But hey, it is a Rolex wire, so it's to be expected. And then right here it says uh, bracelet change. And so this is the information for the Jubilee bracelet and the end links. And you can see the cost 110,000 yen. And I will be getting the Oyster bracelet back. Uh, I wouldn't do it otherwise. And this right here is the cost of changing the bracelet, 5,000 yen. And I've been thinking about it, and I might bring that up because they had to overhaul it anyway. And so they would have had to take the bracelet off. So I can't see a real justification for having that that $50 charge. Now, if I walked in and I said, okay, I want, I want the Oyster bracelet and the end links, then obviously they'd say, well, we got to put it on the watch. And we're going to have to charge you 50 bucks to do it. And that would make sense. But things have had to be taken off the case anyway. And so, I don't know, I might bring that up. I might not. But it would lure it to at least um, below this figure. And as you can see, that's a pretty um, massive amount of money. I think most people couldn't imagine spending that kind of money on a watch, much less, much less a, you know, a service for a watch but uh, that's uh, 
the way it goes when you have a Rolex and I'm happy to pay it. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm not happy to pay it, but uh, just part of the game. Okay, guys, and I forgot to talk about these little two sections here. This uh, refers to the condition of the watch. So it says that there, the case is, uh, there's some marks on the case, um, there's a mark on the crystal, and the there's uh, marks on the clasp. And I guess that's, so when you get it back, you don't say, hey, uh, there wasn't a mark on the crystal when I, when I brought it in. That's sort of their proof that uh, you gave them to it like that. And speaking of that, that little mark on the crystal, they address it here. And this section is for sort of optional services. And they, they talk about the crystal having a, a scratch or, or like a um, some mark. And to replace the crystal, it would be 15,000 yen plus tax. Um, tax not included here, by the way. Um, yeah, total without tax. So uh, I didn't opt for that. So it's going to come back with that little hairline scratch. And um, yeah, I prefer that to a service crystal. But um, eh, I might go service crystal in the future. And so this is uh, what you agree to. And then when you agree, when you agree, you are given this uh, card. And... It's got the case number up there, my name, uh, the date they took it in, and uh, barcode and some information about uh, the address and the, the opening hours of, of the RSC. And so this is what I'll take in. And a couple days after the call, I think whether you pick up on it or not, you're going to get an envelope. And in the envelope, you're going to see a letter like this. Now, it's interesting because this is in English. And I guess Rolex thought, hey, you know, I think this customer would probably prefer an English letter. And they were right. Thank you for that, Rolex. You've got your case number and other personal information up here, your name um, in English, the, the information about the RSC. And it says, your repairing is completed. Thank you for coming to Rolex. The repairing of your Rolex watch are completed. And right here is the case number. Your watches can be collected at any time at your convenience. Please bring the receipts with you which have your name and number on it and give it to the reception. So, this right here. If you do not have the receipt, could you please bring one form of identify? Hmm, one form of identify. Oh well, nobody's perfect. Passport or driver's license with your photo on it. We are looking forward to seeing you soon. And that's kind of impressive because, you know, I think they might have tailored this to me. Um, I don't think so. this was like a, a sort of cut and paste deal uh, because of this. So I think they actually went out of their way to, um, to, to write this for an English customer. Uh, thank you. Um, that was nice. And uh, don't sweat the small stuff at all. No well, no way. I mean, I, I just appreciate the, the effort and the customer service there. But they forgot to sign it. Oh, no. I have to take this in and, and have it signed. Or not. Um, so there you go. That's uh, the way it goes. And I'll take this card in. And, um, and a packet of cash. And after that, I'll be the proud owner of a Jubilee bracelet and a, and a service GMT. So what do you guys think? Put your comments in the section that is uh, dedicated to comments, otherwise known as the comment section. Thanks for watching. Take care and see you next time. Hey, I guess I'll see you after tomorrow. We'll make a video on that.